Active Finance Tutorial. In this video, we will discuss that how to calculate yield to maturity using simple formulas, Microsoft Excel, and financial calculators. Yield to maturity is the total return anticipated on a bond if the bond is held until it matures. It is expressed as an annual rate and represents the internal rate of return of a bond investment. Assuming all coupon payments are reinvested at the same rate and the bond is held to maturity. If you have ever tried calculating yield to maturity of a bond, you know it can be quite challenge. Unlike other financial calculations, there is no direct formula that gives us YTM in a single step. It is more of a trial and error process. But don't worry, in this video I will show you how to find yield to maturity manually using simple formulas. We will break down the concept step by step using basic formulas so you understand what goes into calculations. We will find YTM using two different formulas. We will use internal rate of return as well as yield to maturity formula to find yield to maturity manually. And then I will show you to calculate yield to maturity quickly using Microsoft Excel. I will use three powerful tools in Microsoft Excel, the rate function, the IRR function and the amazing goal seek feature. Lastly, we will use financial calculator BA2 plus professional to find the yield to maturity of a bond. Whether you are a student, an investor or just improving your financial skills, this video will give you a solid understanding of both the theory and real world applications behind yield to maturity. So let's dive in and make YTM super simple. Let's suppose that today you buy a bond with the annual coupon rate of 7% for 950. The bond has 5 years to mature. What rate of return do you expect to earn on your investment? Assume a par value of $1000. We will use this example to find the yield to maturity manually by using Microsoft Excel and by using financial calculator BA2 plus professional. We will start with internal rate of return. The formula of the internal rate of return is equal to IL plus IH minus IL into PVL minus PV actual divided by PVL minus PVH. We will use this formula to find the internal rate of return of this bond. IL is the lower interest rate, IH is the higher interest rate, PVL is the present value at lower interest rate, PV actual is the actual present value of the bond and PVH is the present value at higher interest rate. To apply this formula, firstly we will find the price of the bond by using two different interest rates. As in our example, our present value of the bond is 950 and we will use two different interest rates to find the present values. And the criteria should be that one present value should be less than 950 and one price should be above from 950. And there is no clear guidance that what the interest rate will be. We have to try different interest rate to find the price and meet the requirement that one price should be above 950 that is the actual price and one price should be less than from 950. We will use firstly 5% to find the present value of the bond and the present value of the bond can be calculated by using this formula. Price is equal to coupon payments into 1 over interest rate minus 1 over interest rate into 1 plus interest rate raised to power n plus face value divided by 1 plus i raised to power n. In our example, the coupon rate is 7%, the price is 950 and n is 5 and the face value is 1000. Interest at 5% and the present value is 1086.59.
if we compare this with 950, the 950 is less than from 1086.59. So, we have to choose an other interest rate at which the present value should be less than from 950. So, we will increase our interest rate to find the present value that should be less than from 950. We can use the difference of 5 percent. So, other interest rate that I will choose is 10 percent and at 10 percent the present value is 886.28. So, our requirements are met that one price is above 950 and the other price is less than from 950. Now, we have to name these things. Lower interest rate is 5 percent that will be IL and the present value at this interest rate will be known as present value L. 10 percent will be named as IH and the present value at 10 percent will be present value H and 950 will be present value actual. Now, we will put these values to find the internal rate of return. IRR is equal to 5 percent 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.05 into 1086.59 minus 950 that is present value actual and whole divided by 1086.59 minus 886.28. So, the IRR will be 8.41 percent. If we increase or decrease the gap between IL and IH, then it will definitely affect our yield to maturity and if there is more difference, then our answer will be diverse from the actual yield to maturity. By using this formula, we can say that our yield to maturity will be approximately 8.41 percent. This will be not exactly equal to 8.41 percent. The other formula that we can use to find the yield to maturity is YTM is equal to coupon payments plus FV minus PV divided by N divided by FV plus PV divided by 2. In this formula, the coupon payment is 70, future value is 1000, present value is 950 and by putting all values we can find the yield to maturity that is equal to 70 plus 1000 minus 950 divided by 5 divided by 1000 plus 950 divided by 2. By solving this, we can find the value of YTM and the YTM value is equal to 8.21 percent. Now, in the next step, we will find the value of YTM by using Microsoft Excel. We will use the IRR function, the rate function and the goal seek function. We have the same example in Microsoft Excel. We have coupon payment 70, maturity period is 5, face value is 1000 and the present value is 950. And we have to find the yield to maturity by using the rate function. We will press equal to rate start the parenthesis and PER is the number of payment periods that is 5 comma payment is 70 that is the coupon payments comma present value present value is actually the outflow of the cash so we will press negative sign and select 950 as the present value comma future value that we will get at the maturity that is 1000 close the parentheses and press enter so we get 8.26 percent as the yield to maturity next we will calculate it by using the irr function for IRR function, 
आई हैव रिटर्न द सेम कैश फ्लोस इन अ टेबुलर फॉर्म 950 इज द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू दैट इज द इनिशियल कैश आउटफ्लो फर्स्ट ईयर वी विल रिसीव 70 सेकंड ईयर 70 थर्ड ईयर 70 फोर्थ ईयर 70 एंड लास्टली 70 एज वेल एज 1000 दैट इज द फेस वैल्यू दैट वी विल गेट एट द मैच्योरिटी बाय यूजिंग आईआरआर इक्वल टू आईआरआर स्टार्ट द प्रिंटेसिस एंड सेलेक्ट ऑल वैल्यूज आफ्टर सेलेक्टिंग ऑल वैल्यूज क्लोज द प्रिंटेसिस एंड प्रेस एंटर so irr is computed that is 8.26% that is our yield to maturity lastly we will use the gold seek function in gold seek we have written the same cash flow 70 in the first year 70 in the second year third year fourth year and lastly 1070 that is the coupon payments as well as the face value we have to find the present value by assuming any interest rate let's suppose we assume 5% and we have to find the present value of the cash flows that is equal to cash flow divided by 1 plus discount rate and i will press f4 to lock this close the parenthesis raised to power 1 and press enter and drag this formula and we will find the present value of the all cash flows and if we find the total of the present values total present value is equal to sum of as the cash flows that is 1086.59 now by using goal seek function we will go to data what if analysis goal seek set cell we have to set this total present value that should be equal to 950 by changing cell we will select the discount rate press enter so goal see find the solution and it shows that our ytm will be 8.26% so in microsoft excel all functions return the same value that is 8.26% lastly we will move toward the financial calculator that is ba 2 plus professional so we have opened uh, the ba 2 plus professional calculator and uh, we will use the same example to find the yield to maturity of the bond coupon payment 70 maturity period 5 present value 950 and the face value is 1000 firstly we will clear our previous work so we will press clear to clear all previous workings we will enter n firstly 5 will be n and present value is 950 press negative sign and enter as present value next we have to write the payment 70 as payment and lastly 1000 as future value after entering all these values we will press cpt and press 1 over y to find the yield to maturity and the calculator also calculated that it is 8.26% the summary is yield to maturity by using the internal rate of return formula 8.41% ytm direct formula 8.21% and irr function rate function goal seek and ba2 plus professional calculator 8.26% so we can observe minor differences in yield to maturity formula directly but there is a big difference in the internal rate of return formula as we have discussed in the in the formula that the gap between il and ih is the basic cause of this difference if we keep the minimum gap between il and ih then our answer will be equal to 8.26% so in this way we can find the yield to maturity by using different formulas if you have any question related to finance and financial modeling you can contact us we will try our best to provide you best solutions Thank you take care Allah Hafiz